Hello everyone. So I'm actually in the man cave again for a while. I uh, obviously put a little uh, video up just recently. Uh, so I'm back on the laser engraving uh, just because I just want to have a bash at it again. It's been a while. However, my laser engraver, as you see, is making some really, really funny um, sparks. So I just, uh, for the ones who didn't see the previous video, have a look at this. Well, I don't know about you folks, but I think As you can see, it's not exactly safe to use at the moment. And uh, so obviously I'm on a few groups on Facebook where the, the, these are the uh, this referred to as the K40 laser engraver. And there is a community there and uh, loads of help. And also uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Paul Elliott, uh, there you go, a bit of a mention for you. Uh, is obviously gives some guidance. And generally what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you me fixing it and now when i say fixing it this is going to be my way this thing well it's, it's, it's a chinese laser engraver and all i can say is health and safety was just kind of put to one side they were kind of back at the office in, in another office in another department in another part of china that no one ever thought to actually discuss because this thing as good as it kind of works there's a lot of flaws in it. There's a lot of uh, discussions about on how they earth the casing out, whether it is earthed or not. I've, I've manually earthed mine, mine's relatively safe at the moment. Uh, so by all means, watch what I'm gonna do. If you wanna follow it, great. If you die, it's not my problem. Uh, that is, I'm just telling you that. Enough of me waffling on, let's get into the problem. So uh, I'm gonna try and flip this camera around. Right, so now I've worked out on how to turn things around. So. What we're getting uh, along here, this is uh, one of the cables that connects up to your laser. So this is your, you know, essentially your positive in, if you want to call it that. And down, let's see if we can, and uh, you've got your negative. So don't know exactly on how these work, but essentially we're putting a whacking great voltage in here. And um, someone's mentioned on a, a comment to me that it's uh, 15,000 volts or kilovolts or whatever anyway it's a lot and what's happening obviously is arcing on the cases now i will put a, a still video uh, well a still picture but i'm going to try and zoom in yeah if this is going to work it'll be great but oh there we go you can just make out where's my little fat finger oh, little chip you can see these black dots uh that's well it counts as i Think where this has been arcing out so this top piece here where the cable comes in is catching on that so what I'm going to do is going to cut down here in fact I might as well just show you you get something like this it's basically <laughs> you can see why you know when I said about health and safety going out the window that <laughs> That's the, that's the insulation. Um, <laughs> it's just bonkers. So I'm going to kind of use this as a, a kind of a mould. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this silicon off. I'm going to redo this up. I've been told that you're not supposed to solder it, so it's just wrapping around. So I'm going to clear this um, cable up slightly uh, with some wire strippers so we get a really good connection to this. And then hopefully it should work. Uh, the mindset is that you leave the silicon to dry for 24 hours, but as we all know, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just try it straight away there and after. Um, as to what type of silicon it is, to me, silicon is a silicon sealant, and you know, we're going to find out the difference. So, when we come back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, cut this off. I'll try and get this video in me doing this, because I think it's going to be a bit of a pain, because it doesn't, doesn't pick off by the looks of it. Oh, oh, so that, hold on, there we go, impromptu video. Okay, it picks off. Okay, so what you do, you pick it off. I don't like this because... I, I, ooh. Okay, let's take that off. Okay, so it does peel off relatively easily. 
we'll have a closer look at that in a second. Okay, so as you can see, you can just literally pull that off. And let's have a look. I'm doing that. I'm no planning for this at all. Um, that's last glass. I'm going to have to stick my head in there to find out how it's all done. But there you go, you can just peel that off. So now... Oh, by the way, don't don't have this plugged in while you're doing it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get something to just clip on one of the, well, cut one of those cable times just to give me a bit more more space. Um, I don't, I'm not going to like doing this because I've got glass. I've got some cable ties floating around somewhere. Let's take that out of the way. So now I've got some space now. So this looks like what they do is they just wrap it around the top a number of times and that is it. I mean that is mental. Absolutely mental. God even puts my my skills to the test. So this here it's really just a kind of it looks like a just a large pin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try and pick off some of this. You don't want to be going heavy handed in it because ultimately you want a good connection to that. You've seen the state this pin down here. Uh, just reference that one there. Move this over slightly. Yeah, that's better. So what I'm going to do is going to get some. And this is the finest sandpaper I can get. When we're saying the finest, it's not something from, you know, Harrods or anything like that. It's a B&Q special. And what I'm going to do is because that um, pin itself, it looks like it's had obviously some. Severe arcing, which, given what I was doing whilst it first started, is not really surprising, if I'm perfectly honest. Because I didn't understand what was tr truly happening. And whilst I was doing it, I also had some wine too, so... Health and safety was totally out the window for that. So what I'm going to do... It's... Oh. Very typical. Just get all this silicon off. That I can see. And you would have thought that with these tubes, you can get these tubes all over the place nowadays. They would have had some better way. Of connecting a new wire up, but actually, it's not. I mean, first impressions when I looked at the picture was looks in a bad way, but actually, no. I think what I've I'll show you the, a still picture of this once I've done. Yeah, I think what I've done is it's just um, like if you burn anything, you get like a sooty deposit, and I think that's all I've got. Now, uh, I've got a horrible bloody bubble, flaming hate them, 
uh, I might rotate the tube actually to whilst I'm doing this. Something I've been having on the list of things to do. So I want to ro rotate the tube so this bubble here and allows it uh, to actually get out somewhere. Um, because ultimately you don't want air in there because if you get air in here, th these, these parts here that you want to keep cool as the rest of everything else. There is air. But anyway, enough of that. So right, let's get a still picture of this and then uh, show you what I'm going to do next. Right, so now I've cleaned up the end terminal over here. Let's uh, sort out about the cable itself. Now, visually, there doesn't seem to be anything too wrong with this at all. However, I'm conscious that is if I've had any form of arcing, there could be stuff that's small that I just don't really see or whatnot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it off and create a new one. There we go, nice clean cut. So the you can use use these, or if you want to be maverick, just use that. I want to have two and a half centimeters worth of insulation cut. Or an inch. So what I'll do is I'm gonna just twist this up. Hopefully this will be so there we go. So give that a nice twist. Now the next part, I haven't got a clue how I'm gonna do this, but we're just gonna kind of go go with the flow, go with the flow. Let's see if we can zoom in. Apologies, folks. Need to get this on the right way. It's a bit of a strange one. I can't get the tripod as close up as I want to. So the intention is we're going to wrap this around this pin here. And what I want to do is get as many as I can around. Because ultimately... I don't want to be having the fun scenario that I did with it previously. And that, <laughs> any other time, that'd really be a, a get to do, especially with doing it a video. Let's zoom in tighter. So you can see I've got a a nice connection there. The annoying thing with this is I absolutely love to solder this or make some form of uh, better. Uh, connection but unfortunately we're not going to be able to so that's going to be it now a bit torn on how I'm going to do this because either fill I'm going to I'm, oh, there we go way what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with silicon and just dunk it on now whether that's right or wrong is there a process is there not I've not really done any research to it but anyway I'm going to just do that so find the old trusty silicon which is used for window and door frames so obviously that's the right tool for the wrong job uh, where are we I think that's the end cork thing out I mean look it looks similar but we'll see what happens so what I'm gonna do for this let's see if we can keep it in focus I'm just gonna literally plunger that in until it reaches my finger at the end very difficult to do with one hand but you can see it's filling up not too fussed if it spills out all over the place because nothing can be worse than what it was doing previously And I'm going to regret getting all this stuff all over my fingers because it's going to be a git. So, what I want is something like that. What I'm going to do 
make sure that little slit is lined up and then thumb on top and press it down and I'm hoping that that does the trick so they say well I'm saying they say the trusty trusty Mr Elliot so I can spew it out all over the place now um, stays to leave it for 24 hours which I'm gonna not leave it for 24 hours <laughs> probably not gonna leave it, leave it for 24 minutes so I'm just gonna tidy up move some things around run the pump see if we can move this air bubble and um, yeah come back so there you go see you in a sec scrap that abandoned ship we have a cracked tube Right at the end, I've missed it. Watch this. It's electrifying!